Today, let's look at the Rubik's Connector Snake from Spin Master Games. Inside each pack, you'll find two snakes curled up into a ball. Don't be afraid to just get your fingers into the gaps, pull it apart and turn it into a straight line. A single snake is almost identical to the one created by the inventor of the Rubik's Cube, Professor Erno Rubik, back in 1981. They have 24 wedges connected by spring bolts, and each one can be turned a quarter turn away from us, a half turn, or a quarter turn towards us. Unlike the cube, however, it is not a problem to be solved. Instead, it is infinite possibilities. And infinity just got, well, more infinite. With the new connectors at each end of the snake, we can simply link them together and keep creating. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how to make one of the best shapes with two, the dino. He's our favorite bronchiosaurus. So we only need one snake at first. And when I count along the triangles, the one we land on is the one we turn. You'll see. And we're starting with the white end. The first one, we're just going to count this one. This one here needs to turn a half. So like this. And this becomes the little head that we're going to have. Now we count seven triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And this one here is going to do a quarter turn away from us. Like this. And then we count three. One, two, three. And this one here is going to do a quarter turn towards us. Then we're going to count another three. One, two, three. And this one here is going to do a half turn. Then we're going to count two. One, two. Another half turn. Now we're going to count three and do a quarter. So one, two, three. This white one here. Going to turn that a quarter. And then we're going to count another three and do another quarter. One, two, three another quarter and then we're going to count two and do another quarter one two now here is where things get interesting what we're actually going to do is go back to this blue triangle here that's behind the neck i'm going to turn that one twice and you'll notice it all sort of fits in do a half turn and that all connects like that well done after that we're going to find this one here one two and we're going to turn that a half like this then we're going to count another two, one, two, and do a quarter turn. Now we're going to count three, one, two, and three, and that one here is going to do a half turn. We're going to count another two, one, two, and this one here is going to do another half turn. And that is half of our dino done. Let's grab our second snake, and we're going to start at the white end again, and we're going to count three. One, two, three, and this one's going to do a quarter turn towards us, like this. Then we're going to count another two, one, two, and that's also going to do a quarter turn towards us, like so. Then we're going to count three, one, two, three, this blue one here, which will do a quarter turn towards us again. Then we count three, one, two, three, and this one's going to do a whole half turn. Uh, we're building the leg again. Then we're going to count two, one, two, a half turn, one, two, like this. And then we're going to count a uh, three, one, two, three, and that's going to do a quarter turn away from us this time. Then we're going to count three again. One, two, three, and that's again going to do a quarter turn away from us like this. OK, and then we're going to count two and do another quarter. One, two, quarter turn away from us. And we're similar to where we were last time. We're going to track back to this blue triangle here, this one here, and give it two turns, which is a half turn. So and notice how that slots nicely into place for us now. Now we're going to do count two, one, two, and do a half turn. There we go. And then we're going to count two again, one, two, and this way do a quarter turn. We're doing the second leg like this. Then we're going to count three, one, two, three, this blue one here. I'm going to do a half turn with that. One, two, count two, one, two, another half turn. So that's the second leg done. Then we're going to count uh, three, one, two, three, this white one here. We're going to do a quarter turn towards us, which is like this. And then we're going to count three again. One, two, three, this white one, and just a quarter turn towards us again. And there we have that. And that is the back of our dino. Now we can just pick up the other one and simply using the connector. There you go, connect them together and we have our dino. Some other shapes we can make with two are the cobra, the bunny, and 
many, many more. Once we start using three or four snakes, we can start to get super creative. This is something I made just now out of four snakes. Uh, I just invented it, it's a crown. King of the snakes. Thanks for watching this first look at the Rubik's Connector Snake. So go, be inventive, be the first to come up with mind-bending shapes. Oh, and don't forget to share it with us using the hashtag Rubik's Snake when you connect and create.